Hello everyone, my name is Katerina and I'm part of the marketing team here at Codacy. Today I'm going to talk to you about our new feature that is called Diff Coverage, which is both a new metric and a new quality gate. So before this new feature, what happened is that you are able to evaluate the overall coverage of your repository. So in every pull request, we were able to evaluate if that pull request was increasing or decreasing the coverage of your entire repo. But what happened if you wanted to see if that pull request itself was covered by tests? Well, it was not possible, but now it is. So now you can make sure that every pull request that you submit is going to have the coverage that you want for it. Uh, let's see how we can implement this in our UI. So we select the repository and we go to settings here on the left hand side of the screen. And then we select quality settings. And as you can see here, the screen is divided in two parts. So one of them is pull requests and the other one is about commits. But let's take into consideration that for now, this new feature is only applicable to pull requests, okay? So let's ignore the other part of the screen. And what we have here, as you can see, it's a new line that says diff coverage is under. So you can select here if your pull request the, is covered by tests by a specific percentage. In this case, we activate it and it's 70%, but we can change the selected number from zero to 100, okay? So this is going to see if the changes that you introduced in that pull request are covered by tests or not. So in this case, if 70% of those changes are covered by tests. And once this is selected, how we can evaluate this. So we can go to our pull request page and we can see here an example. So before all these numbers, they were up here, but because we added these new parts, we moved that a little bit down around the screen and we can see two elements here that are important to analyze. So one is the variation. Uh, in this case, it's equal, it's green, which is good. And then we have a percentage here in terms of this coverage. So in this case, it's 100%, which means that every line that we change or we added that is different in our code in this specific pull request, 100% of that is covered by tests. Okay. And there is also something that you need to consider here, which is the color of this number. So right now it is gray because the quality gate that we just selected was not activated at the time. So if it's not activated, it's going to be gray, but then it's going to have two colors. You can have it green or red. And of course the colors are self-explanatory. So if it's green, it means that your uh, coverage is above the threshold that you've defined. And if it's red, it means that your code is not enough covered by tests based on the threshold you defined. So this is how you use this metric. And of course, you can also block the pull request in your Git provider if you want to, but that's totally up to you. Um, I think this is a very good metric and it's a very good feature that you want to guarantee that every pull request that you make is going to be covered by tests. I hope you like it and see you soon. Have a nice day.